What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you a preview of the 2014 Gildan New Mexico Bowl between the Utah State Aggies and the UTEP Miners. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with the Aggies. For Utah State in this ball game, it's all about sustaining drives. Right now, their offense is only converting 32% on third downs. That has to improve. You're facing a football team in UTEP that can chew up the T.O.P. with their ground game, and if you're not able to sustain drives and they get a lead, it could be over for you very early in this matchup. And you have to force UTEP to break tendencies. You want to stop Aaron Jones and Nathan Jeffrey, their outstanding tailbacks, and force him to throw the football more often than they want to. Showers is a tremendous quarterback, but again, the Miners want to run the football first, second, third, sometimes even fourth. So if you want to stop the Miners, you got to get them to break out of those tendencies and get them to throw the football a little bit more. And freshman quarterback Kent Myers has to play like a senior. That's protecting the football keeping the offense on pace, getting in and out of bad plays. If he can play like an upperclassman, then it bodes well for the Aggies' chances in this matchup. And for UTEP in this ballgame, I would put quarterback Jamil Showers on the move consistently throughout this matchup. Here's a guy that has some good athleticism, can throw the football very well on the run, and it also helps you alleviate a lot of the pressure that's going to be coming downhill against that offensive line. Utah State is an aggressive style defense. They want to get pressure. They want to blitz that A and B gap, move the pocket consistently, and you can have some success throwing the ball. And it's also important that they win the battle of field position. I think their special teams has to play a huge role in making sure this happens. Kickoff return units as well as punt return units, creating a short field for UTEP to work with, and that way they can put points up on the board consistently. And I wouldn't be afraid to send extra at the young quarterback, Kent Myers. Again, freshman player, played well all season long, but you can force him into some quick and probably bad decisions with extra pressure. So I would probably go a little bit more aggressive with my blitz and stunt packages this week versus Utah State. The biggest X factor in this game for the Aggies will be the play of their cornerbacks. You look at guys like Rashard Stewart and Jalen Davis, Daniel Gray. I believe those guys will have to have a huge day versus UTEP because, again, what UTEP does well, they run the football, which probably will force Utah State to bring their safeties down in the box, maybe go with a single high, maybe just keep Brian's suit back there as the free safety, and that puts a lot of pressure on your outside corners to man up one-on-one, -on -one, and they're going to have to win those battles on the outside consistently if they want to have a chance. And the biggest X factor for the Miners will be the play of their offensive line. I love what they do in the running game, and that's how they're able to control the line of scrimmage and ultimately control the game, which is why they find themselves in the New Mexico Bowl this year. However, when they're facing pressure, that's going to be the biggest challenge this game versus Utah State. If they're able to hold up when they throw the football, it'll ultimately determine whether or not the Miners can sustain drives and do a great job in moving the football versus a very tough Aggie defense. Now here are some 2015 draft prospects you want to watch out for in this ballgame. Great defensive talent in this matchup on both sides. Zach Vigil, B.J. Larson, excellent in the front seven. And when you look at the secondary play, Adrian James is a big-time cornerback prospect out of UTEP. Frankie Sutra came on strong this season, seven interceptions from the strong safety position. That definitely bodes well for his chances as a pro. And I'm a big fan of Jamil Showers, a quarterback out of UTEP. Great all-around prospect, guy that can throw well on the move from the pocket, got good mobility. And Ian Hamilton, 6'5", 225. Keep an eye on him. This is a guy that could have a huge impact in this ballgame. A lot of people talk about the greatest Utah State Aggie, Merlin Olsen, but forget his brother Phil, who was one heck of a football player as well. Here's a guy that was a three-year letterman and a three-year starter, and in 1969 was a consensus All-American selection for Utah State. Phil Olsen was so good that a year after he finished playing for the Aggies, they retired his number 90 jersey the following season. Before going on to become a Hall of Fame receiver for the New York Jets, Don Maynard was an outstanding 
multifaceted athlete for the UTEP Miners from 1954 to 1956, where he amassed 2,200 all-purpose yards, intercepting 10 passes, playing defensive back, scoring 10 touchdowns as a receiver, where he only caught 28 passes, but he averaged 27.6 yards a catch. And as a running back, he had 843 yards rushing on 154 attempts, averaging 5.4 yards a carry. In the 2007 New Mexico Bowl, New Mexico took on Nevada, and the Lobos jumped out to an early 14-0 first quarter league. Quarterback Donovan Pottieri threw two touchdown passes and routes becoming the MVP as the Lobos blanked Nevada 23-0, winning their first bowl game since 1961. In the 2012 famous Idaho Potato Bowl, the Utah State Aggies took on a very explosive Toledo Rockets football team and that year the Aggies were 10 and 2 and both of their losses came from a combined five points now nursing a 13-6 lead in the fourth quarter the Aggies scored 28 points led by running back Curran Williams is three touchdowns to win 41 to 15 and Curran finished that day with 18 carries for 235 yards In the 1950s Sun Bowl, UTEP took on Georgetown, and UTEP came into this ball game as the nation's leading rushing team, and they lived up to the billing, carrying the football 59 times for 348 yards for their first ever bowl win, knocking off the Hoyas 33 to 20. I like Utah State in this ball game. I believe this will be a low-scoring defensive battle, and UTEP will have some success very early running the football against this Aggies defense. But with the way they play games with their safeties, they're able to flip-flop between free and strong. So they're able to dedicate that extra guy in the box because they do trust their corners on the outside. And I think right there, that defensive pressure at every level will cause problems for UTEP later on in the game. So I think the Utah State Aggies come away 2014 New Mexico Bowl champions.